pakinggan ang espesyal na pagtatanghal ng regional stations para sa pagdiriwang ng ikapitumput dalawang taon ng katapatan ng ating Panginoon sa mga himpilan ng Far East Broadcasting Company. DYVS Bacolod and welcome to Bacolod City kung saan ay napakasimple ng buhay ng tao. Dito sa Bacolod, radio is still very much relevant. Pahagi pa rin po ng buhay ng karamihan dito ang makinig sa radyo. Habang nagwawalis ng bakuran at habang naglalaba and when people are driving radio pa rin po yung uh, pinapakinggan And sometimes, dahil po dito, it's very tempting to be complacent. Especially that we have a stable group of devoted audience who tune into DYVS from sunrise to sundown. Kulang na lang minsan, lagyan ng super glue yung nab ng radyo para nakatutok lagi sa 1233 DYVS. But then God has impressed upon our hearts to reach and serve more people. Just last year, December 20, 19, uh, we erected our new antenna, our new tower in Talok, Bago City. And uh, last January this year, we already operated full blast at 10 kilowatt. And uh, we are so blessed that the Lord has given us all these blessings and we are just so amazed that God is really faithful in the Lord has blessed us with a new tower last year, and we praise God for that. However, an expanded broadcast scope and reach does not automatically translate to a greater impact. Beyond relevance, we simply desire to be significant. And so we need to innovate Una sa lahat, ano ba yung pangangailangan ng community? And what can we do to help address these needs of our community? And so we needed to innovate. We needed to take advantage of the status quo of the radio industry here in Bacolod City. Whatever it is na hindi ginagawa ng ibang istasyon, yan yung gagawin namin. And we were motivated to do that. With our limited resources, sinubukan namin last year, pinagwapo namin yung studio namin. But of course, not the actual studio. Wala tayong enough budget to make everything actually, visually presentable. And so we resorted to 3D animated virtual studios. And so now, we have live programs which are hosted by top officials from different government agencies such as the Department of Education, the PNP Bacolod, and even PhilHealth. I can say that last year was the beginning of the golden years for DYVS. Everyone was high-spirited and just as we are gaining our momentum, then the coronavirus pandemic came. Order placing the city of Bacolod under enhanced community quarantine. It means that our lives will change. This is, in a manner of speaking, martial law by necessity. But this is what we need today. Just when we are about to go full blast the whole year and the years to come, dumating po itong pandemic, uh, which uh, made us decide na mag, yung iba sa amin na staff ay mag-work from home. And um, yung iba, pumupunta po dito sa station para magtrabaho. Especially yung aming 
um, mga radio technicians, and ang aming program supervisor. So, lahat po ito, um, hindi namin kinoconsider na uh, nahamper yung aming mga trabaho, but uh, we praise God that despite of the pandemic, all of us are safe by God's grace. We were tempted to reduce our operation. We were tempted to suspend some programs or to even reduce our broadcast time due to several constraints. However, we realized that this pandemic is a God-given opportunity. This, during this pandemic, uh, we are um, tempted, really tempted to uh, reduce our uh, operation, our, our uh, programs, our uh, hours of broadcast, we are really tempted to reduce it to, to a lesser to lesser hours. But uh, alam namin po na sa ngayon na panahon, mas kailangan ng mga tao, ng mga listeners namin, ang um, encouragement, the Word of God. So, Kahit po may struggles po ang FEBC, lahat po ng station, lahat ng mga stations ng FEBC ay nag-decide na to uh, be in full blast operation. And uh, kahit po uh, kami ay obvious na nagsisave ng pera para po ma-sustain ang operation, kami po ay nagpapatuloy sa pag broadcast ng full blast para po sa lahat ng aming mga listeners na umaasa ng encouragement, umaasa na makarinig ng uh, salita ng Panginoon through our broadcast. People need us more and the more we need to serve the community. Believe it or not, hindi naman sa nagmamayabang kami but we have regular undiminished programming during the pandemic and it is only by God's grace. By God's grace, nagawan po ng paraan lahat. What inspired us the most, what inspired us to continue, are the individual stories of commitment. Historia ng bawat isa sa mga staff namin dito sa DYVS. You know what, during the ECQ, I was the only one reporting in the programming department kasi ako lang yung may pinakamalapit na bahay dito. Actually, five minutes lang. Malapit lang talaga yung bahay ko. And of course, there was, there's one technician na nag-duty every day. All the rest were working from home. I'm blessed because every day nakikita ko. As we are using remote access tool and uh, at 7 in the morning, pagdating ko dito sa office, when I turned on yung computers ng ibang staff na nag-work from home, gumagalaw na agad yung screen. Ibig sabihin, kahit nasa bahay lang sila, they report on time and end on time. Most of our talents are doing their share. Pinag-aarali nila yung uh, home recording gamit yung kanilang mga telepono so that wala silang mamimiss na segment or episode. Most of them, Hindi nagre-replay, no, except for uh, some. And one touching story is that one of our technicians, even before the ECQ, ay hindi na pinauwi or hindi na pinatuloy sa kanyang boarding house. Siguro paranoid yung may-ari. So he had to stay at the studio. During that time, we were not prepared. Hindi kami preparado so kailangan mag-improvise. Yung kanyang tinulugan, Yung karton. <laughs> but of course, in the following days, we tried to do our best to provide for uh, uh, the beds of our stay-in staff. Another technician was biking every day using a BMX-type bike. Imagine, nakakapagod ang layo pa naman ng bahay niya. Only to report during the schedule. One day, I was surprised while all the staff are working from home, biglang dumating <laughs> si Angel, yung isang staff namin sa programming. May dalang malalaking bags. 
at bitbit yung kanyang electric fan. Sabi ko, ba't ka nandito? Sabi niya, hindi na daw siya pinauwi sa kanyang tinitirhan. Baka daw mahawa yung ibang residents doon sa kanilang bahay. And so, she stayed at the studio and continued to serve the Lord through the ministry of DYVS. This is what keeps us going. We stir ablaze each other's fire in the name of commitment. Also, God blessed us through our ministry partners. Who would believe it? During the ECQ, where everyone suffers economic difficulties, karamihan ng mga supporters namin walang trabaho at walang masakyan papunta sa studio. But then, from day to day, may kumakatok sa labas ng studio. Naghahatid ng kanilang mga yung uh, piso para sa DYVS, yung mga donations nila. Minsan may nagbibigay din ng cheque. And to think, this is during the enhanced community quarantine in Bacolod City. Hindi nagkulang ang Panginoon sa amin. There are so many things we can tell you about DYVS. And the time is not enough. God was not only faithful to us during the pandemic. He has been faithful decades ago and He will continue to be faithful in the years to come. This seventh second year in FEBC, nagpapasalamat po kami dahil the faithfulness of the Lord is really apparent in this times at hindi niya po kami pinapaybayaan pati na po kayo lahat po tayo at uh, nagpapasalamat po ako dahil uh, kaming lahat dito ay safe and lalo na po nakarating kami sa 72nd anniversary ng FEBC and with this we are happy to say that FEBC is strong because of God's grace and it will continue to be strong because of you our listeners and our our donors maraming salamat po if you want to know more watch this video hello we are happy to celebrate the 72nd anniversary of Far East Broadcasting Company. Indeed, it is a proof of God's faithfulness in this radio ministry. And here in FABC DYBS, we would like to share the goodness of the Lord. Let me start. In 2014, 40-year-old building and the 200-foot tower tried to stand strong against the attacks of construction decay. It came to the point that the roof leaked on rainy days and employees have to bring umbrellas at their work to protect the equipment. Both the booth and recording rooms were hazardous to the users as the audio panels were already fading away. In that same year, the 200-foot tower was dismantled and replaced by a temporary antenna weakening the broadcast strength of the station. And undeniably, it heavily affected our broadcast. In some areas, DYVS cannot be heard anymore. And what's more sad in this situation, the people, the ministry partners, the listeners, they thought that DYVS has stopped its operations. Well, if we view it in earthly perspective, we might think that we were in a hopeless situation. The antenna that we had, it was only good for two years, but we kept on using it for five years as we don't have any replacement. But God is good. He was not done with us yet. It was in 2016 that DYVS started praying for the rebuilding of the tower and for the new location. In 2017, FABC purchased a one-hectare lot in Talok, Bago City. It was situated in a good and strategic location. And it was also in that timetable that the new offices and studio was transferred to the heart of the city. And the first initial broadcast was on June 6, 2016 here on San Sebastian Verbena Streets, Bacolod City. And the PSRs, the program suppliers, the talents, the staff were all captivated by the new and state-of-the-art equipment plus the cool and comfortable surroundings. 
the tower construction started in 2018. It was sturdy and state-of-the-art design and can transmit up to 10 kilowatt power and can stand up to 300 km per hour wind. The initial full blast broadcast was on January of this year and I can still remember how the people were rejoicing because after months of unstable broadcast, finally DYBS can be heard in a stable and wider reach. Texts and calls from listeners were flooding at that moment and we all praise God for His goodness to FEBC. The long years of waiting is tough. We have reached a point wherein the feeling of impossibility set in and the vision of rebuilding was unreachable. But all those years of yearning had finally been over. The Lord is faithful. He taught us to wait upon Him. And by His grace, it renewed our minds, strength, and our faith. Our gratitude to the Lord is overflowing because He gave us the provision so that this project will be realized and He gave us donors and ministry partners who supported us both in prayer and in practical ways. All glory belongs to Him. 